Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how I created the 3D butterfly nail that I posted on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I couldn't believe the response I had, so thank you to everyone who liked and commented, it does mean a lot. So using the shiny side of a form backing, you're just going to draw the outline of your butterfly design that you want using a pencil. Um, this is just going to make it easier for you to fill in with acrylic in a minute. Mm. So I use Nao's clear acrylic. So you just fill it in with a thin layer of acrylic. You can use coloured acrylic. Uh, on the nail that I posted um, yesterday, I used a, I think it was Fairy Godmother and I can't think what the pink was, but it was basically I used a purple and pink acrylic instead of clear. I wanted to use clear because I'm going to use um, on this butterfly nail using the Candyland collection glitter from Nail Sugar, which is a beautiful iridescent set of glitters. So I wanted to just see what that looked like using the clear acrylic. I have sped this up quite a lot. Uh, those of you who have seen my previous videos will know that they are very compact um, and short basically. Uh, this one is a lot longer. Um, I have sped it up and compacted it down as much as I can. I have this fear that I bore people so. <laughs> this is the thin butterfly shape that we have now. So I'm going to take Nail Sugar's Blueberry Bonbon and Periwinkle Twinkle and Candy Floss. So these are going to be the colours of my butterfly's wings. Taking a small bead of clear acrylic, I just pat it over the top part of the wing and pop some acrylic onto it. I think later on, or the, for the bottom part of the wings, I do put the acrylic on with a clear bead so I get a clear bead and then dip it into the acrylic and then place it onto the wing just do whatever works best for you there is absolutely no right or wrong way of doing this nail you can use coloured acrylic you can use different um, different glitters just do it just have a play around this is actually a really fun nail to do and it's not as difficult as it looks really I don't think um, you're basically just creating a flat butterfly which we then just sort of fold up I'll show you in a minute but so once you've added your glitter you're gonna just put another thin layer of clear acrylic over the top this does need to be clear and not colored otherwise you will lose your glitter under the colored acrylic obviously Sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way. It's really awkward because my phone is pointing down and I can't, I couldn't see above the phone very well to see if I was in shot or not. <laughs> oh. oh, then I put a bead of clear acrylic in the center. This is gonna be the butterfly's body. I did put too much on, really. Um, then you're gonna fold up your form slightly and just hold it while it sets. And then once it's set, just Take some more clear acrylic and put it on the outside of the wing. This again will give it a bit more strength. Do it on both sides, obviously. Try not to ruin the shape too much. The outside shape, I mean. And then the other side. So then just leave that to set. So 
for the actual nail itself, I'm going to be using Nao's Soft Pastel Green and Nail Sugar's Lollipop Lime, which is again from their Candyland collection. Um, if you go to www.nailsugar.co.uk, um, you'll find it there. You can buy it as a complete set. I believe it's eight pounds something, or it might be eight pounds. Or you can buy the glitters separately. Personally, I would suggest going for the whole set because they'll be beautiful. So um, I've placed some of the glitter over the top of the green and then I've just capped it in clear acrylic. So that part is pretty basic. Back to the butterfly. Um, I'm just trying to smooth the wings out as much as I can. So just using a hand file. Um, I have got an e-file, but I haven't got... I haven't had any training in e-files so I wanted to show you that you can do quite an intricate-ish design using just a hand file um, just making sure you get into all the little grooves um, and then on the inside and the outside just try and smooth down the like here just smooth the acrylic down as much as you can because then it will just make it easier when you come to paint on the design Then buff it over with your buffing block just to smooth it out. I struggled to get the um, the butterfly back onto my blue tack, not back onto it because I haven't put it onto it yet. But I put it on. I find that if I put some blue tack on the end of a gel stirrer and pop the butterfly on it, it just holds it nicely for painting. Um, but with this one, for some reason, I got a. Uh, a clean bit of blue tack and I top coated the bottom and cured it and then I found it stuck on there quite nicely. So for the detail I am using Chinti's black gel polish. I absolutely love their gel polish. It's amazing and it's only £8 for a 15ml bottle. It applies so nicely as well. It's brilliant. So taking my detailing brush, all I'm doing here is putting some black paint around the outside of the wings and painting in the body. If you're not completely confident about painting um, with gel polish, you can cure as you go. Um, this way you won't have, you know, if you do make any mistakes, you can just use some gel residue wipe off solution just to correct the mistakes that you've made and not ruin much else of the design if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm so rubbish at explaining things. So as, um, as that was curing, I then went back to the nail itself and filed and buffed it and top coated it. Pretty simple this bit. I'm using Blue Sky Top Coat. I like their top coat. Chinti's top coat is also very nice too. So that was the iridescent glitter. Lollipop Lime, love it. So now we're going to be putting detail onto the wings. Um, the best way that I can describe this is uh, like you're putting three long arches and then three shorter arches nearer the edge of the wing, if that makes sense. But you can see here exactly what I'm doing. You don't have to copy what I've done. You can add detail. Just, I don't know, do whatever you want really. This is just how I do my butterflies. So once I'd done one side, I then cured it and then went and done the other side. Exactly the same three longer arches and three shorter arches above those. And the same with the bottom wing. So that's what you should roughly look like. Um, 
Um, I then decided that I was going to do the underneath of the wing. Um, although the wings are pretty transparent and you can see the black gel polish through the other side, I just felt like I needed to go over it. Um, it was a bit like, it just looked a bit unfinished if that made sense. So I thought I would just do the detail on the bottom as well. Um, it was pretty much straightforward, I just had to copy the design from the, the other side. So that is what I'm left with. And then taking a fine dotting tool, uh, you know, a dotting tool with a very slim point, I took some white gel polish and I just put dots around the butterfly. You don't have to put it all over the butterfly. I think in the end I pretty much ended up putting white dots all over the black gel polish. They just add a little bit more detail to it. This bit again is pretty, pretty straightforward do this once all the black gel polish is cured obviously and also underneath I just love that glitter it looks like a stained glass window a little bit there every every now and then it catches the light <laughs> I don't know what happened here but my phone went a bit silly with the light so just top coat everything once you've cured it for a full 60 seconds so you're going to do the inside and the outside of the wings bung it in the lamp then taking a I was going to say small just but not small you don't really want it small a small bit of acrylic you're going to attach the butterfly when you take the butterfly off your blue tack you're probably going to have some uh, rough bits underneath where the top coat has sort of stuck to the blue tack so just gently file it off and, and or buff it off just to smooth it down um, it won't matter too much because you're not going to see um, right underneath so don't worry if you make a bit of a mess there So there we are, pop the bead on, pop your butterfly on and you're going to have to hold it for about a minute or so just until the acrylic sets enough that you can let go. Um, it wasn't until later on in this video that I realised I put the butterfly on upside down. I wanted to put it the other way. <laughs> but it doesn't matter I suppose. Um, a butterfly can fly either way can't it? So I just put some um, two small beads of acrylic uh, underneath each side and just sort of tried to um, brush it up towards the wing just to give it a bit more strength and that's what I'm, I'm left with. Um, if you are good at one stroke or you want to paint some flowers onto the green that would be amazing. Um, this is the one I done yesterday using the glitter as the base uh, and this one is the green with glitter on the base. Um, it wasn't until that point right then that I realised that I'd put him on the wrong way around. So um, anyway, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Do please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.